there aren't a lot of certainties in life. According to American founding father Benjamin Franklin, the most obvious are death and taxes. Of course, if you ask most people, aging would be pretty high on the list of life's inevitabilities. However, Harvard biology professor David Sinclair feels otherwise. He's not only changed his diet and habits to stop himself from aging, but, according to his studies, reversed the process significantly. So, what exactly did he do to turn back the clock? Let's take a look. Also, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. It means the world to us. Meet David Sinclair, PhD. David Sinclair is an Australian-American biologist, renowned for his research on aging and longevity. Over the years, he has made significant contributions to the field of aging research, particularly in understanding the molecular mechanisms underlying aging and how it might be slowed down or even reversed. Born in 1969 in Sydney, Australia, Sinclair boasts a PhD in molecular genetics from the University of New South Wales. He also attended MIT, where he studied the various genes involved in the aging process. After that, he went on to teach and work at Harvard University, where he won numerous awards for his contributions to genetics research. So, if you think he's just another fake doctor looking to sell supplements, think again. And while his accolades and achievements, which include books and numerous papers, are indeed impressive, what's really impressive about Sinclair is his face. Indeed, if you compare what he looked like at 44 and 54, you'll note that he looks much younger now. When asked, Sinclair will tell you quite simply, this is because he is younger. Aging Research Over the past decade or so, Sinclair has used himself as his own personal guinea pig slowly changing his diet and routine to coincide with his research. This has led him to make outstanding claims that, from what most people can tell, seem to be backed up by science. For instance, Sinclair says that he doesn't look younger than he did a decade ago, but his blood chemistry actually shows that he's younger and healthier. My blood biochemistry and I'm actually now younger and healthier than I've ever been testosterone, glucose, inflammation, blood cell composition. For most of those markers, I'm better than a 20-year-old for, for health. While some people might chalk up this to magic, Sinclair says it's all about simple, effective science. The way he sees it, our bodies are hardware, but they run on very specific software. With the right techniques, we can keep that software from becoming corrupted and outdated, thus leading to aging. Okay. So what are the techniques? The ingredients of aging and anti-aging. Sinclair's research has largely focused on a group of genes known as sirtuins. These signaling proteins play a significant role in regulating various cellular processes, including DNA repair, cell survival, and energy metabolism. For this reason, they are largely associated with increased lifespan and improved health in various organisms. And while their ability to influence aging is somewhat debated, Sinclair says his body and mind are a proof he's on the right track. Another major area of focus for Sinclair has been resveratrol, a compound found in red wine which can activate sirtuins and potentially extend lifespan. Of course, before you go chugging a bottle of Cabernet at night, you should stick around to see what Sinclair actually has to say about it. Finally, Sinclair has also explored the role of nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, also known as NAD+, in the aging process. NAD+, is a coenzyme that is essential for various cellular processes and may have a direct impact on aging. He's even developed interventions to boost NAD plus levels, which may have anti-aging effects. All of this information was published in Sinclair's 2019 book, Lifespan, Why We Age and Why We Don't Have To. But to save you time, we're going to sum up precisely what changes Sinclair made to stop aging dead in its tracks. Pun intended. Exercise three times a week until you lose your breath. 
One of the key pillars of Sinclair's anti-aging regimen is exercise, and he recommends engaging in physical activity at least three times a week. However, not just any walk around the block will do. Sinclair emphasizes the importance of pushing oneself to the point of breathlessness during exercise, as it leads to a state of low oxygen, or hypoxia. This oxygen deprivation triggers the release of beneficial chemicals in the body that can help slow down the aging process. At the same time, this process also helps build muscle and improve blood flow. In fact, by dedicating just 10 minutes to inducing breathlessness three times a week, individuals can potentially reduce the risk of age-related diseases by up to 30%. If you're thinking there's no way my pain-ridden muscles, joints, and tendons will allow me to exercise this much, check out One Compress Bamboo Compression Products. You can give your hands, knees, legs, and feet an ageless feeling just by wearing them while you sleep. Go to www.onecompress.com for more information. Embrace Intermittent Fasting Intermittent fasting is another crucial aspect of Sinclair's anti-aging strategy. He advocates for eating less frequently and within a specific time window, typically around 6 hours a day. The way he sees it, the goal is to refrain from consuming a substantial meal until dinner. According to Sinclair, this approach to eating helps activate autophagy, a process that deeply recycles proteins, leading to rejuvenation. He says that the science behind the intermittent fasting lies in the activation of the aforementioned sirtuins, allowing them to defend the body against the cellular damage responsible for aging. That said, Sinclair admits that fasting is hard. To fast like I do, right out of the gate is really tough. You know, should ease into it or you'll fail. To starve off hunger pans, he recommends staying well hydrated. If you absolutely must eat, he says to try consuming nuts like almonds, which can make you feel full with very small amounts. Ideally, one should aim for at least 16 hours of fasting or minimal food intake, typically achieved by having a late lunch and a substantial dinner. This extended fasting window allows the liver to adapt and prevent glucose spikes through a process called gluconeogenesis. What to eat? In terms of dietary choices, Sinclair has transitioned to a predominantly plant-based diet, inspired by populations known for their longevity and Okinawan peoples. He places particular emphasis on stress plants and the concept of xenohormesis, where molecules in plants, such as polyphenols, signal stress in the plant's biology. This is hardly beneficial to the plant, but it is beneficial to the animals that eat it, as it helps activate our cellular stress responses, which can prevent premature aging. In fact, Sinclair takes xenohormesis so seriously that he specifically advises selecting organically grown plants, which are exposed to more stressors, and therefore contain higher levels of these beneficial compounds. Additionally, he recommends incorporating a variety of colorful fruits and vegetables in one's diet and highlights specific foods such as matcha tea, spinach, olive oil, and, and if you must eat meat, fish. What not to eat? Conversely, Sinclair urges people to avoid certain foods and substances. Sugar, especially in the form of glucose and fructose, tops the list of dietary offenders. This is because sugar is known to cause fatty liver disease in animals, as well as diabetes. Sugar also attaches to various proteins in the body, impacting long-term longevity. In fact, Sinclair identifies high blood sugar as the single biggest predictor of aging-related issues. He advises against fruit juices and recommends placing sugar, if necessary, at the end of a meal. Bread due to its tendency to cause sugar spikes and subsequent energy crashes, is also on his list of foods to avoid. Unfortunately for the carnivores out there, red meat is highly discouraged, as it is linked to elevated cholesterol and triglycerides. Moreover, both fat and protein from meat can have damaging effects on our bodies. Again, fish is considered an acceptable protein source provided that plant-based options are prioritized over animal products. 
Last but not least, we have alcohol. As you probably expect, Sinclair recommends heavily limiting alcohol consumption. However, if you choose to indulge, opt for Pinot Noir wine. This particular variety is derived from grapes under greater stress, which mean they contain higher levels of resveratrol. The end of aging? Not exactly. David Sinclair's research has generated significant interest from doctors, researchers, and the public. After all, the quest to slow down or reverse the aging process is one of the oldest of human fantasies. Thanks to Sinclair's willingness to use his own body as a testing ground, we are now closer to understanding aging than ever before. That said, nothing on this list will actually keep you from growing older. What it will do is prevent the sort of cellular damage that makes your body's age apparent in our day-to-day -day lives. This means healthier organs, more energy, less disease, and increased longevity. And if he's right, David Sinclair might be around a whole lot longer to teach us much more about all this.